Okay, this is July 1st. And I've never been uh, flying back this direction. Well, not very far. And uh, this is all new territory for me, so. This is a very interesting uh, video and landscape here. A lot of, a lot of woodland back here. <clears throat> I'm flying a Phantom 4 drone. And I'm using a Phantom 3 Pro radio controller with a uh, with a static bounce reflector on it on the two uh, on the two antennas it's just one of them double curved reflectors facing out it seems to uh, made quite a difference because I got out uh, I got out uh, a little over a mile and uh, and I still uh, Still could go further. I didn't see any uh, any signal loss at all. Of course, I, I'm what you're seeing here was recorded on the drone itself, not from the uh, not from my uh, tablet. <coughs> So this is a field back here. This is on the ground right below me. This is about as far as I've ever been back in this direction. Back, and that was several years ago. Uh, from the ground you can't see uh, can't see any of these fields up around here this is all hidden by trees and from down below see this stuff here I had no idea this was up here that power line right there to the bottom right corner I never knew that one was going back there this is not the same one you've been seeing down by my house never knew this road was up here had never seen any of this stuff up here This is looking south. There's the Mississippi River over there. Way down below uh, town there. New territory, huh? Actually, I got lost. I didn't know where I was up here. 
because I uh, the sun was out and I couldn't see. Uh, I couldn't keep a connection in my head because I couldn't see the screen very well. So I really didn't know where I was at when I got up here uh, to the to the limits of where I flew. I had, had to actually hit return to home because I didn't know which way to fly by hand. I didn't know which way the bird was flying. And something had happened to the screen. All I could see was what you're seeing on my screen. I didn't have any of the telemetry around it or anything. It had somehow uh, gotten out of that. And then uh, coming back, when I was coming back, I just turned, I backed out on my tablet, I backed out of uh, DJI Go 4, then I backed out of the app and then restarted it. And then uh, all my telemetry came back. So just remember that if it ever happened, you can just turn it off while you're in the air and it'll uh, keep flying. So that's right there, that's south, that's west, and that's north, and that's the road down there, that street going across, that's the road uh, I live on down there. That's uh, east, going east there, and I'm uh, way up above, uh, way up above the valley I live in, so... Uh, now technically, okay, you can fly to 400 feet, and technically I'm way up above that. I'm a, a, about a thousand feet, but if you look straight down, I'm only about 400 feet over that ridge down there, so, so I'm still technically legal. I'm just uh, letting it sit there and getting a view of the landscape. There's south again, see. And I've never seen any of that farmland down below, right in the foreground. I've never seen any of that. Don't know where it is, who belongs to. <laughs> I'm just flying over it. Now that's uh, north, back, well, northeast, northwest, I mean, and uh, now we're re returning home.
uh, coming down in altitude. And this end of the uh, parking lot is where I was sitting because I wanted to get out of the radio shadow of this tree and the other one and look up through that valley. I wanted to have a clearer shot with a radio beam up through that valley. And it seemed to work. And for some reason, when I get close, this close to home, to landing, for some reason, the controls don't work as good as they did when I took off. I don't quite understand that. I haven't, I'll have to look online for maybe a reason or see if anybody else has run into that. And we're down.